just some of the places Londoners are calling home this Christmas. According to one group that helps rough sleepers, there's a shortage of available spaces at shelters in all parts of London, a problem that's made worse over the festive period. It's never going to be enough. I mean, as soon as they went to shelters open with their 20 or 30 beds run by volunteers, they're full already. Streets Kitchen says hundreds will spend the next few nights outdoors on the capital streets, a situation John says is putting lives at risk. We've lost two in Islington. I mean, people are dying out to the streets. I mean, we were talking about vulnerable people here, vulnerable women, young people, you know, people who are scared anyway. Help can be slow to come, and that's why organisers turn to social media. I follow Streets Kitchen on yeah. Facebook uh, and I saw that they're having this event today. So we've all uh, chipped in and brought some stuff along. Well, each of these bags is stuffed with items that have been donated by people just passing by all day. And it's hoped that what's in them will come in handy for anyone having to spend the next few nights outdoors. So items like a warm jumper, a hat, some socks, a scarf, and even some toiletries for women. And now all that's left to do is deliver the bags to those in need. Doing that is a team of willing volunteers. We're taking Hackney, so we're gonna go along the overground, get off at each station and do a bit of a sweep of the area, um, see who we can find, have a chat with them. And for everyone involved, the hope is that their work will help make sleeping on the streets tonight that little bit more bearable. Thomas McGill, BBC London News.